Welcome back to Wichita State, Julius. Thank you so much for having me. It's so great to be here. Can you just talk about just some of those things that, that maybe hit you when, you when you're back on campus? Uh, yeah, I just sort of remember, like there's a wall right behind us that is very distinct to me. It's got these little bubbles that go into the practice rooms for all the music students. And I can just remember peeking out of those windows and seeing people walk by as I'm in there practicing my music and going over piano stuff. We're around the corner from the Dirks and Outdoor Amphitheater and just wondered, did you ever perform on that amphitheater during your time here? Never a sanctioned production, but there are plenty of like late nights that my friends will be um, here practicing and we come out here and we'd sing on that stage and just like have a good time and work on our material for each other out on the amphitheater stage. So more of our own little silly memories and not anything like official. <laughs> Jockers definitely remember you for your time in, in the production of Pippin. Uh, it's kind of one of those first things or where it all started for you, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was my sort of my first leading man turn uh, in my uh, musical theater degree. And it sort of started me off to thinking like, oh, maybe I could go out there and do more than what I'm just thinking I could do, be in the ensemble. I could go out there and take a show, put it on my shoulders and run with it and be the guy. And I've now had several opportunities to do that, and this was the place where I got that training. You were back in town with the production of, of Smokey Joe's Cafe. Can you sum up your feelings of, and your emotions about getting back on stage and, and performing to a live audience? Oh, sum it up is a hard thing. There were lots of tears, especially on our first day of rehearsal, where we got together and we sang and we heard those notes all put together in that beautiful music. Um, you know, I've been working on my craft solo in my house for a year now, but to get to do it with my peers and people that I have either known in the business, worked with in the business, or heard of, um, and to do it in a place that gave me my professional start, to come back to theater in the place that gave me my first professional theater gig was just really, really special. Well, and I know with this production, uh, you worked with Brian Markham, artistic director, uh, Wayne Bryan, who I know, I know you've known for a long time, uh, and you did it in a role of assistant director. Uh, assisting and a lot of observing, learning from Brian, uh, but he also gave me several opportunities to relate to the cast uh, as a director, not just as an actor. And um, I'm really grateful because music theater has, has really taken me under their wing first when I was first here and now again in this new turn in my career where I get to pass on the things that I know and the things that I've learned. And they're allowing me my opportunity to become a director now. So it's sort of a full circle moment. Looking ahead a little bit to 2021, um, is there is it still pretty much an unknown to you at this point or do you have some things lined up that, that you could share with us? What's interesting is that we don't know what the world is that we're going to return to. We don't know if we're going to be able to do eight shows a week like we used to, if the market will sustain that. Um, Hamilton was a really a wonderful show in that we got to sit down in a place for two months every, everywhere we went. I don't know that the market will be able to sustain that. So now the idea will be how do I stay sane as a human <laughs> and move from place to place playing this huge role and um, you know, putting my heart out there every, in, in a new city every week? How do I do that? I, I work with a really fantastic guy named Mark uh, Kapitsky and we have a group called the Kings of Soul and Swing. Uh, we do lots of big band, Frank Sinatra, then we toss in some contemporary stuff. And we travel to symphonies across the country and place our show on a symphony orchestra in a town. So our next gig is in San Francisco. We're going to go play with the Fremont Symphony and just sing some really wonderful music outdoors and, you know, get back to entertaining folks and, and having them come out and feel safe and, and have a good time and enjoy some really great music. New York has announced that they are planning on reopening in July, which means that Broadway gets to start 
figuring out how they come back and adapting to this new market. And um, we're hoping by September that there will be some big shows, <laughs> hopefully one big show that I am a part of, um, that we'll get to get back together and start making some, some magic together again. You lived without Hamilton for a year. Right? I have. Uh, how, has that been hard? It has. You know, um, you work your entire career to get to a place where you feel like you've made it, and Hamilton is my star turn. And we are on an intermission from my star turn, and I am ready to get the show started <laughs> again. Amen. I want to get back out there and entertain the masses and do what I feel like I was put on this earth to do, which is to, you know, touch people through song and through music. And it's time. Very good. Safely, but yes, it's time. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to circle back to Smokey Joe's one more time. We'd love to hear maybe just a closing chorus of Stand By Me. Would you mind taking us away with that? Sure, 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 sure. So darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand now. Stand by me. Stand by me whenever you're in trouble, won't you stand by me? Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand now. Stand by me. The one and only Julius Thomas III. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you it. for having me. Glad to be back. <laughs> <laughs>